Welcome back to my Let's Play of Dark Seed 2. I know I said we'd visit the carnival in this episode, but first, let's visit Mom. Mom loves her flowers. Just pointing out the flowers, flowers again. They don't bloom. die till later on. I love how the inside of Mike's house is completely black before you go into the door. Say, viewer, what's Mike's mom's favorite way to play PC games? Steam! Mom looks pretty good considering all she's been through. Hi, Mom. Hello, disappointment. I thought you were going out, Mike. You would not believe the day I've been having. Mike, I'm sure it's nothing more than the types of problems all the rest of us have to go through. Now scoot! Bitch, I was talking about all the fun things I've gotten into. I found a coat hanger, Mom. All right, let's go to the carnival. It's open! It's about time the carnival opened. I'll bet they were just trying to build up the public's curiosity so they'll attract more customers. Or they were legit setting up. This clown doesn't look very funny. Hey, In fuck fact, you, bud! Kind of sick. Is there anything exciting to do at the carnival? We're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. What do you think? Yeah, over on the midway. It's in front of the carousel to the left. We have all kinds of games of skill and chance you suckers can waste your time with. It's just a shame we lost Rita. She was in charge of the kissing booth. Damn it. What's the most interesting things to see? Go look in the mirror. Go to the sideshow behind the carousel to the left. We have a boring weightlifting act, some phony baloney fortune teller, and a pair of neurotic Siamese twins. I'm sure you'll have a blast. I'm sure you'll have a blast, freak. You don't have to be so rude, you know. They don't pay me enough to deal with people like you. Well, excuse me. Look, pal, I've been coughing up my lungs all day. So why don't you just cough up a ticket, and we can put it into this delightful conversation right now. Mike punches him and runs inside the carnival. What? Are you sick Is this really relevant to the plot, Mike? I don't think this is going to exonerate you from murder. Unless we Einstein, pin the blame on the clown. You ought to think about going into medicine. Damn straight I'm sick! But I left my friggin' medicine inside the carnival. And I have to man this stupid ticket booth all day. Where is your medicine? I you like fetch quests. You. Let me grab it for you. So, yeah, Albert Schweitzer, too. My medicine's in the cooler. So I know there are different versions camp. of the word carousel, but carousel they've already the right. spelled it differently twice since this conversation thread. Four minutes in, and I'm counting that as my I'll spelling get your medicine for you right now. I'm using my excited voice, so you'll let me go in without hey, a ticket. No even though I have without one. A ticket. I have an admission ticket. Shows off a little chest. So, fork it over. Just because you're making some nice chit-chat, you think I'm going to let you into the carnival for free? But the ticket was what free, sir. What do you think I look like? I can't tell which ticket it is, apparently. Rita's ticket, stubbed to the Rita's ticket stubbed to the high school reunion is... Here's your lousy ticket. Why is Mike angry at the clown now? I thought he wanted to be friends. Glad I wonder if the dialogue changes if you present the ticket first. The system works. Ticket booth clown. Bootlick. How are you feeling? I'm sorry about my outburst there. I'm under a lot of pressure. Are you a moron or something? I'm feeling lousy, that's how I'm feeling. But maybe, just maybe, if you get me my medicine, I might start feeling good. Is that simple enough for you to understand? So you're saying you might be good if you weren't feeling so bad, so you could be better, but not at the moment. Look, I don't need to take this abuse. I'm leaving. 
Ha! <laughs> you'll take this abuse and you'll like it, Dawson. Good idea. You look like the type who knows how to abuse yourself. I'm sorry, what? Maybe he's right. Let's talk to him some more. Where is your medicine? Maybe I could get it for you. Let me guess. You have Alzheimer's disease. I'm sorry, who are you? you I'm Mike Dawson, by the way. Indian May I go into the carnival? Tent. You'll find it behind a carousel to the right. Just looking around to see if there's anything to interact with. This carousel must mark the <laughs> Welcome to carnival. carnival, what the fuck? There we have demonic horses, deformed babies, lots of skeletons, and Newton seahorses. Oh god, the baby picture's on the carousel as well. Man, there's nothing to really click on. What a wonderful calliope. It's one of those old-fashioned ones that were ornately hand-carved and fitted with brass pipes. I loved these things when I was a kid. Mike, that has got to be the weirdest thing you've said so far. I know it'll be eclipsed when we make it to the Dark World, but I feel like this nothing you just said was true. Old, but it's still in good shape. The craftsman who carved it did a marvelous job. You don't see work like that anymore. Really makes you think. I bet Mikey Boy is more disappointed that he can't ride nice on it. nice to look at, but I don't enjoy riding them. You just go round and round without getting anywhere. Kinda like Dark Seed too. This calliope is attached to the carousel by a cable. Spoilers it for later, since I probably won't interact runs. with these again. I just realized that the carousel matches up with the Ancient's generator in the Dark World. There's a cable attached to it, just like to the calliope and carousel. I just love finding little things like this that I either forgot about or just didn't hear before. What a mess. What a mess. Dark Sea 2's tagline. All this stuff back here and nothing to interact with. I have so many questions about the demonic clown, zombie horse, and H.R. Geiger creature too. This must be some kind of employee storage and break room. Looking at this break room makes me think that the carnival owner hates his employees. I can't believe the junk they've got here. It's nothing like the junk in my inventory. I don't want to touch this crate. I'd probably get a splinter. I don't like spiders. Bite. Wait, what happened to the music? Did the spider scare it away? This must be the okay. Ice good. Chest the ice chest bought the music the back. Medicine, but there's an anvil on top. The anvil is also red, like red herring. <sighs> Why this lift it and heavy. not push it? I can't lift it by myself. Okay, there's nothing else to look at in here. I just noticed the sign over the tent. It looks like it says TR Enter backwards and then Rudy. What? Alright, off to see the rest of the carnival. Wait, I just gallery. went left, but According came out ticket, on the right the here are free. What a great way to lose money! I used to have a BB gun like this when I was a kid, and I was a pretty good shot, too. The lie detector determined that that was a lie. Did I already use that joke already? I, I don't know, it's still accurate. Car from this guy. Of course not, he doesn't sell cars. Good deduction, though. I'm tempted to go hostile for the first interaction, Excuse but me, I sir. think I'll save that one. Step right up. Step right up. I love how the carnival guy's I face disappears man. when he like speaks. And I'm also guessing he's basing Mikey Boy being a good shot on his rugged good looks. What's with all the strange decorations around this oh, carnival? Oh, one Miss Rita Scanlon donated the things in the foreground. Hey, just we painted and them and shoot. added the arms and you guns. Want me to lose my job? I don't like your attitude, mister. Maybe I do want you to lose your job. I want to take a shot. Your finest scotch, How much sir. does it cost? Put your money away. <laughs> Joke's All on you. Mike doesn't have free. any money.
Decisions, decision. May I ask you another question? Hey, just pick up a gun and shoot. You want me to lose my job? This guy's tone has me looking like the face above the ducks. I missed. Well, that's what happens when you aim your gun downwards, moron. I think this game is rigged. I lost, so obviously your game is rigged. Are you nuts? Get out of here! Nope, gonna talk to you more and more now. Look, buddy, I need some answers. Next, Mikey Boy is going to point the carnival gun at him and get the. Hey, just answers. pick up a gun and shoot. You want me to lose my job? All right, let's move on. A Wheel of Fortune game. You guess a number, and if it turns up on the wheel, you win a prize. <laughs> That carnival worker looked super depressed as soon as Mikey Boy showed up. Can each of these toys turn into dark world creatures? That's an obvious hint for later, but it's confusing that he says it now. Not much to interact with on this screen either. Hmm. I've heard that games of chance can be rigged, but carnivals like this are usually on the up and up. <laughs> really? I'm sorry, but when have carnival games ever been on the up I'll and bet up? This guy has mom tattooed across his chest. Okay, first, what the fuck? Second, you're one to talk, Mike Boy, given that you want to give Mom a call to see how she's doing from a payphone and all, especially because it doesn't make sense since you can visit her whenever. Third, shut up. I wouldn't buy a used car from this guy. Sorry, I couldn't remember if I clicked on the guy before. <laughs> he looks really happy we're walking away, or extremely confused that someone would walk up to him and say what Mikey Boy said. Okay, now on to this I have fella. an admission ticket. You got an admission ticket? That entitles you to a spin at the wheel. Never mind, I don't want to play anymore. How much does it cost to play this game? Keep your quarter. Everyone with an admission ticket gets a spin at the wheel. Just one time or as many as I'd like. Also, I love all the random mismatched teddy bears, How does this game and work? then there's like one fat dog. Or is that a fat bear? I, I can't tell. All you have to do is call out a number between zero and nine, then give the wheel a spin. If your number comes up, you win a prize. What could be simpler? Not Dark Seed 2, I'll tell you that much. Excuse me, sir. Why, it's the gentleman from earlier today. And by earlier Feeling today, I mean five answer? seconds ago. I changed my mind. I don't think I want to play. Okay, but you're passing up the chance of a lifetime. We're practically giving our prizes away. And by practically, I mean we are. This carnival has no clue how to earn money. I want to play spin the wheel. Pick a number between zero and nine. I'll pick number one. Time for some okay, of that patented Dark Seed 2 animation. You know, a little jittery, but I'll give it a pass. I wonder if you could ever win this game by chance. Probably number not, but it'd be interesting zero. to see if you could. Loser. A term Mikey Boy is all too familiar with. I want to play Spin the Wheel. Pick a number between zero and nine. I'll choose number two. That's the issue, Mikey boy. You gotta stick with one number. Okay, give the wheel a spin. Number six. You lose. <sighs> Fine, I'm out of here. This looks like a fun game. I used to play horseshoes with my dad. It's just a shame him, that this is ring toss. To I'm like not sure Mikey Boy understands the difference, as we'll soon see. It's hard to tell from here, but I think that pole is made of metal. Yeah, it was donated by Rita, God rest her soul. It's hard to tell from here, but I... Th this guy looks like he hasn't bathed in a week. <laughs> Excuse me? 
That's funny coming from you. Excuse me, sir. Step right up! Step right up! You look like you have a good arm, sir. Obligatory masturbation joke because Mike is lonely and we're walking, we're walking. Okay, what do I do? I just toss a ring around I love the Barker's animation. I so too bob my head up and down when I talk do to people. We'll soon see that simple tasks are just too much for Mikey Boy. I'd like to play this game. Yeah, be careful, the ring's heavy. <laughs> you missed, pal. <laughs> Mike, this isn't horseshoes. Around the pole, not next to it. Mike runs away to have a good cry. Oh, wait, I just realized I forgot to talk to him about other things. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Well, well, he's back. Limber up the old bitchin' arm, did we? Hey, should Ready the carnival marker repeat that line? Sounds like he said bitchin' arm. No, no, keep it, I like it. I keep losing. Mike Bennett life and not this game. <laughs> What's the matter? Your arm a little stiff? Eh, come back and try later. Instead of animating this guy properly, it looks like a portion of the character shifts back and forth with the way the pixels move. Excuse me, sir. Well, well, he's back. There's not much to talk about with this guy. I think this game is rigged. Are you crazy? There's no way to cheat at this game. Get out of here. Careful there, carnival guy. Mike may actually be crazy. Well, okay, fine. I'll leave. A sideshow and Hall of Mirrors attraction. Great. I've experienced enough freaks and My reaction to the carnival's decorations lifetime. is depicted by the second clown face from the left on the hot dog cart. Actually, speaking of, love the disgusting baby face mustard they have going on there. Nothing but the best for our paying customers. The sign says, enter at your own risk. Yeah, right. I don't think Mikey Boy is necessarily disagreeing with the sign there. I think he's just confirming it for the player. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so there's nothing else to click on here, and I'd like to be in the Hall of Mirrors for as little time as possible, so let's see the sideshow. <laughs> oh boy, we're off to a weird start. Wait a minute, is the separate chairs a joke because That's they funny. can't separate? Everyone that these postcards are addressed to is dead. How could you possibly know that just by staring at them for a second? Here's a stack of unsigned postcards. They look like they were just bought from the store. Mike is desperately hoping they send him one. I've heard about yes, let's walk to the before, side to talk to them so the player can see their beautiful now. animation. Despite their affliction, these two women are quite lovely. Jesus Christ, Mike. I've heard about Siamese twins. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. It's the man of your dreams, Mike Dawson. Hello, sir. I hope that you are enjoying the carnival. <laughs> Minnie smiles through gritted teeth while talking to Dawson. Say, this guy looks delicious, doesn't Would you he? like to come to my place for dinner tonight? My mom's making steam. Who are you? Really, Mike? Look up. I'm Minnie. This is my sister, Daisy. We're Siamese twins. We're very, very close. And also punny. What do you do at the carnival? We're fortune tellers. What do you think? We work in the sideshow. What's it look like? Duh. Thanks, Daisy. Please, Daisy, don't be rude. The gentleman may be interested to know that besides working at the sideshow, we also designed the Hall of Mirrors. Ah, so you're the two to blame. That's interesting. Sideshow performers designing one of the attractions. Mikey Boy has a weird definition of interesting. It was appropriate for us, what with us being mirror images of each other. And also on account that Have we're both architects. Yet? You should go. <laughs> it's fiendishly clever. By you fiendishly clever, return. she means poorly designed. I don't like mazes very much. 
I've had bad dreams about mazes. Will you hold me close and whisper kind words in my ears? Oh, I'm unsettled by all this maze talk. This maze doesn't have to be a nightmare. It's actually quite easy if you have the key. <laughs> it's quite easy if you cheat. Shut up, Minnie. Don't say another word. It's forbidden. No, oh, Daisy doesn't approve of cheating, I guess. Oh, I'm so sorry, Daisy. I keep forgetting. It's just that this young man seems so nice, I feel that I can trust him. Minnie is acting like she's about to slide off that chair. Did you design anything else at the carnival? I wanted to put in the peep show, but Miss Purest Snow here won't allow it. Oh, Daisy, all you think about is sex, sex, sex. If I let you have your way, you'd open up a bordello. I mean, there's no denying sex cells. It's also funny to make jokes about. <laughs> I need to get the clown's medicine, but it's trapped under an anvil. Can you help? What with your bulging muscles and all. Oh dear, you might try asking Gargan the strong man next door. He can probably lift it for you. Is he also easy on the eyes? Why, that muscle-bound crybaby is probably... Aha! Uh -huh. Daisy calls Gargan a crybaby. And that must bother. be how Mike attributes him to a baby in the dark world. Again, spoilers and link in the description. What are you writing? Restraining orders for patrons who won't leave us alone. These postcards. We're sending them to famous people from all over the world. I'm writing the text of the postcards. We write to everyone. Jack the Ripper, Lizzie Borden, Genghis Khan. Yeah, that's nice and all, but hey, I bet those things in the foreground were I'm also donated by Rita. To Gotta keep Dickens. the joke going. What's your name? Maybe we can send one to you. You strike me as a famous author with the knowledge of a collegiate professor. Do you teach game design by chance? Everyone you are writing to is dead. Do they ever uh, write back? Yes, voices come into our heads. I always hear from women. And I always hear from men. Too bad none of them sound as young and virile as you, sweet bun. All the sexual tension must be killing Mikey Boy. He better go ask his mom to give him Where some privacy later. To the dead letter office? All right, Mike. No more dialogue for you. Oh, that's very funny, sir. No, we send them to the local morgue. I'm sure they know where to forward them. Minnie's dropping hints over here. So come on, hon. What's your name? My name is Philip Marlowe. Philip? You don't look like a Philip. You look like a loser. Come off it, pal. What do you take us for, a couple of bimbos? My name's Mike Dawson. I don't get the purpose of the fake name. Choices Mike for the sake of Dawson? choices, I guess? Oh, no. That was the name I was supposed to mail the key to. I think I her made a Her face does mistake. not match her voice here. Watch your mouth, sis. The voices won't like it. Daisy isn't too upset as she gets no. more postcards. I'm sick of you in your twisted ways, Daisy. You built the Hall of Mirrors as a favor for those voices you heard. Now I'm doing a favor for the voice I heard. Look, pretty boy, I'm not letting my sister say anything more. Go on, get out of here before we okay, all get Okay, well, let me write trouble. my number and address so you can stop by my room later. <laughs> it doesn't look Another like seamless way. transition. Tell me anything more. Minnie will never speak to us again for the rest of the game. Minnie, are you all right? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We've got nothing more to say to you. Quick, Get Minnie, out. while her hand is moved. Oh, never mind. Let go of her, Daisy. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We've got nothing more to say to you. Get out! But you're still talking to me. Fine, I can take a hint. Time to talk to the crybaby weightlifter. What a magnificent stage. This act must be something really special. I bow, but I'm too embarrassed. That's a little foreshadowing for later. Ah, I see the smiley magnet asset got a second use. Look at the muscles on that guy. Settle down there, Mikey boy. I anyone did strongman acts anymore. Excuse me, Gargon. <laughs> I should have started talking to him before he started his reps. 
I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Man, they couldn't get better animation for Gargan. No wonder he's sad. Do you work here? <laughs> no, Mike. He just came here wearing a singlet oh, and started lifting just weights. Great. I'm doing my weightlifting act, and you can't even tell that I'm a performer. No wonder I'm going to lose my job. Want to make a quick buck, Gargan? I have an anvil that needs lifting. Why would you lose your job? I can't draw a crowd. They all go to see the Siamese twins or the fortune teller. There's just no interest in my talents. My knitting Not talents. You can rent no one wants to watch someone knit at a carnival. A video store for a buck. Come on, Mr. Gargon. There's no reason to be so depressed. Mike gives him a shoulder Life's rub. not so bad. Oh, yeah? Obviously, you didn't hear about the missing box office money. It's not that People I haven't heard about the money. No I didn't good. really care to ask. Now stop interrupting me! Stop interrupting you? <laughs> you clearly have no idea who you're messing with. Excuse me, Gargon. I hate how he has to finish his reps before talking to us, but I guess that's just how dedicated he is. I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Sorry to interrupt you while so many people were checking you out. I need some help. Could you lift an anvil off an ice chest for me? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to help anyone. I take some lousy pills my doctor gave me, but they don't do much good. I'm washed up, and I know it. That's like three answers for one question, two of which had nothing to do with the question Mikey Boy asked. Mr. Gargon, won't you please lift that anvil so that I can get the clown's medicine? I'm pleading with you, Mr. Gargon. I really want the clown to like me. I already told you! No! I'm through doing favors for people. No one ever does anything for me. Now stop interrupting my act! Well, what favor do you want, Mr. Gargan? Also, no. No, I won't stop interrupting. Excuse me, Gargan. I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Is there anything I can do for you, Mr. Gargan? Wink! You can stop pretending to feel sorry for me. I know that no one really gives a damn. Now, let me get on with my act while my I act still is have all a I job. have. All right, let's move on. A fortune teller. These people are nothing but rip-off artists. It's probably how this carnival makes most of its profits. Two things. First, Mike goes to Pandora for guidance on several items in the game. Second, the carnival doesn't make profits. I hate there's basically nothing to interact with except the person. I need more Mike Dawson That's opinions on random stuff. That's the damn snake I've ever seen. Ooh, yeah. Man, Pandora already looks fed up with our crap and we haven't even spoken to her yet. Are you a fortune teller? Indeed I am. Pandora, the all-seeing and all-knowing. That's too Allow long of a title. Allow me to introduce you to my friend, Lucifer. That sure is a big snake. Is he friendly? I use him to crush my Lucifer enemies. Lucifer is very friendly to me. She is my familiar. She gives me my power. Isn't that right, Lucy Goosey? What does your snake eat? Annoying customers. Whatever she can fit into her mouth. By the way, I wouldn't stand too close. What powers does your snake give you? It allows me to search out the real sister when I fight the Siamese oh, twins. That allow me to see Good old Mega Man 3 reference for you. And the far future. Powers that let me help people guide their destinies. In layman's terms, I tell fortunes. And she drops the accent. Everyone at this carnival is bad at their jobs. What's my fortune? You will die alone.
You also have no friends and smell bad. readings from personal items. Uh, perhaps you have something in your possession I may examine. What can you tell me about Dr. Smiles? I named the magnet. What role does this play in my future? I see you Dr. hanging up a doodle on your mother's fridge. You are proud of it, but she only hangs it out of I pity. I see a wheel with six spokes that turns no longer. What can you tell me about this? I see a man who carries around trash in his ugly sports coat. I see a vault being tried before a judge. Thanks, Snake. Do you get any readings off of this? I see an additional charge for a man already wanted for murder. I see a church floating over a pool of blood. Ah, oh, thanks again, Snake. What about this, Pandora? I am sorry, young man. My powers are exhausting. And what I mean is, Please you're exhausting. Please leave me be. This time, can I just ask you questions without all the hocus pocus? The snake eats Mike because he's getting aggressive. I sense that your psyche wanders a plane far removed from this one. Mysticism holds much greater meaning for you than does normal conversation. No. Another reading is what you need. As she moves the tip jar closer to Mike. What a bunch of hogwash. I'm leaving. You'll be back again. It's in the car. You'll be back again. I'm integral to finishing the game. <laughs> Let's see if she's ready yet. What about yet. this, Pandora? I am sorry, young man. No, I guess she needs more time. This time, can I just ask you questions without all the... I sense that you... What a bunch of... You're... Pandora, Let's try the nice I need approach. your talents again. Lucifer and I have been expecting... Ma'am, we've been talking for the past five minutes. What can you tell me about the clown? He is a drunk and greatly exaggerates his affliction. I hear a thunderclap provoking laughter close to home. What can you tell me about Minnie and Daisy? The Gemini sisters try to steal my shtick. With the whole I dead see person a thing. Glassy envelope sent to Van, who in the morning walks on four feet, at midday two, and in the evening three. But now he sleeps. Thanks. What can you tell me about Gargon? I see a man who overcompensates for things I by see lifting a lightning weights. Bolt striking his head and a great weight lifting from his heart. Thank you. That was very insightful. Was it? It was our pleasure. Good fortune to you. His goodbye, Lucy dear. Oh, I thought the snake wasn't going to hiss for a second. All right, I'm going to cut a lot out and take us to our next destination. All right, back to the morgue. <laughs> that animation of Mike going through the door is something special. I think there's someone making out inside. And it looks like they play pretty rough. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't there just corpses back there? Time to interrupt. Excuse me, sir. I need to speak with you. How do I get in on some of that action? Oh, what is it? I'm, I'm very busy with a patient. You're the coroner. Why would you be seeing patients? Nervously closes the door and hides on the floor. I have to keep a practice on the side. You don't think this town pays me a lot of money, do you? Well, if I could just get a break, I'd move out of this one-horse town. What kind of a break? 
Why, a real scientific breakthrough. I'm presenting a paper on the subject very soon. You don't think I take this medical examiner job seriously, do you? It's hardly a proper position for a man like me. My paper is on the Kama Sutra. What kind of scientific breakthrough? New methods of inserting DNA into the ovum, Dawson. You see, I use my... I don't need to hear anymore. exciting possibilities in genetic research. It should also be my ticket out of this backwater town. I'm afraid science has never been one of my favorite subjects. <laughs> Neither were any of the other subjects. That's typical of the Crowler, Texas mentality. The sooner I get out of this place, the better. You're not happy here? This town offers no challenges for a man of my capabilities. But mark my words, you won't see me around here much longer. If all goes well, I'll have a position at a major university or research facility by next September. And if that doesn't go well, then I'll just sleep my way to the top. What can you tell me about Rita's death? Nice segue. I'm sorry. I can't discuss the case with anyone while it's under investigation. Well, especially the number one suspect. Why did you move Rita's body so quickly from the crime scene? Because I didn't want anyone to see the body in broad daylight. That's how we catch criminals, you know. I don't think that's true at I all, actually. I hide important facts of the case. And that's why I can't disclose those facts to you of all people, Dawson. I'm investigating Rita's murder myself. I'd like to look at the autopsy report. Will you let me in so I can <clears throat> investigate look, Rita I told one more you time? I'm not allowed to discuss the case. All the autopsy files are locked up in my office, and that's where they'll stay. I heard that Rita's murder was particularly gruesome. That's right, Mike. When at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Why, yes. It was fascinating the way the killer... D Damn it, Dawson! I told you that I can't reveal any facts about the case! Ah, Mike almost had him there. Keep prying, Mikey boy. How well did you know Rita? Hardly at all. She worked at the library. That's all I know about her. Do you have any idea who killed her? Why would he? Well, from what I understand, you're the main suspect, Dawson. And if it's true that you killed Rita, I hope that they fry your ass. I choose to believe Larson is saying that because Mike is annoying him right now. I heard that you were seeing a lot of Rita shortly before her death. She was, um... Aiding me with my DNA experiments, yes. She See often again, brought me I stuck my... No, 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 I don't want to hear that. Library. She was very good that way. Come on, Doc. Rita was a pretty girl. You're a charismatic guy. You two were having a fling, weren't you? I'm surprised he can say that so calmly. That does it, Dawson! Get the hell out of my office! Well, that's another person pissed off at Mike. That's actually the goal here, but in this case, I didn't piss him off enough for him to accidentally no unlock the door on the left. So to fix that, you have to no leave and come back in. No one's there. It's locked. I don't see anyone inside. Take two. Definitely going with option three. I thought I heard someone making out back there. That does it, Dawson! Get the hell out of my office! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance for a dialogue tree. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can solve the puzzle this time. Sorry to bother you, Doc Larson. Do you have time to talk? Also, I'm not really sorry for bothering you, because that's what I do. Why are you bothering me again? I am a very busy man. I'll say I'm surprised your lady friend hasn't left for good yet. 
All right, let's go for him career wise. Of public this time. institutions. I heard that you used to work for a hospital until you got fired. That is. What? Who told you this? All right, Larson. I want in on whatever you're doing. I'm Something very lonely. Something having to do with seducing a patient, I believe. Boy, it would be a shame if that piece of news got around town. Why, you'd be finished around here, I imagine. Don't threaten me, you little snut. Why, for two cents, I'd ring your I guess your Doc neck. Larson doesn't Get have any money either. Office, Weird. I never come back. That did it. The weird buzz indicates progress. <laughs> Honey, Washington I'm home. He hit the admittance button when he slammed his fist on the counter. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I wonder if Larson was making out with the body there. Speaking of, where is Larson? Is there another room I'm not seeing? Freezers. For storing dead bodies. That's not what I clicked on. I don't think it's smart to leave a Bunsen burner unattended while it's on. Oh my god, that's Rita. Her head's been cut off. I'd recognize those knockers from anywhere. Oh look, Larson has a weird baby picture too, just like the carnival. This guy's name was Mark Danson. He's wearing some kind of charm around his neck. It looks like a key made of glass. What a stupid charm. Well, I guess I better take it. I can't take this guy's necklace charm. He obviously wanted to be buried with it. I can't take this guy's necklace. The toe tag says this guy's... Fine, Mike. Have it your way. There aren't any labels in the file cabinet drawers. Doc Larson must not be very organized. I mean, he does have a take a number ticket dispenser in the lobby. There's that. Here's Rita's autopsy report. Rita's head was forcibly removed by a sharp instrument with a serrated edge and... Oh, God. Her tongue and eyes were cut out and left at the murder site. Kind of matches what happened in the initial dream sequence, right? Link in the description. Here's Mark Danson's autopsy report. Time to pry into this man's life. This says that Danson died of natural causes. Old age, apparently. Hmm, he was a lighthouse keeper. Weird, given how we don't have a lighthouse. And he walked with a cane. Hey, that's the answer to Pandora's riddle. I walk on four legs in the morning, two legs during the day, and three legs at night. A man walks on four legs as a baby, and three legs when he needs a cane. And he's sleeping because he's dead. Minnie meant to send this glass key to me. I don't think Mark Danson will mind if I take it. Fuck your final wishes, sir. This glass key looks like something out of a fairy tale. Too bad real life doesn't always have a happy ending. Obvious foreshadow is obvious. Wait, what? Mike, no. I said, I said go the other way. Mike? Mike? Alright, let's bug the sheriff one more time. Still twiddling your thumbs there, eh, sheriff? Hi, sheriff. I just came in back again, Dawson. Okay, I have no idea what was said in the last video, so I apologize if this is the same conversation. I heard that you were upset about Rita's body being moved from the crime scene so quickly. Any other clues you can give yeah. me? Well, you heard right. Why was Doc Larson in such a hurry to remove the body? Hell the hell would I know, Dawson. I don't know. Moving the body sure messed up the crime scene before we had a chance to look for physical evidence. Mighty unprofessional behavior, if you ask me. But isn't that how you catch killers? That's what Doc Larson said. How well did you know, Rita? Yeah, hardly at all. 
I don't patronize the well, library I don't like to much. read, no. If it ain't got no pictures, then I'm not interested. Down at the newsstand. Come on, Sheriff. Ah, I know that's all right. Time about to antagonize the Sheriff. Shut your mouth, Dawson. You're pissing me off. I heard you used to date Rita. She says she didn't like people who couldn't read and kicked me so to the curb. So what code. if I did? Rita was interested in lots of men. Every man in town by Jealous the sounds Dawson. of it. Jesus. Is that what made you snap and kill her? Did Rita dump you because you couldn't satisfy her, Sheriff? <laughs> what the hell, Mike? Why, you little turd. I'll have you know that I was the one who dumped her. She was too bookish. Always running off to spend time she with that She used words I couldn't hers. understand. Just what was this reading group that Rita belonged to? I don't know. Some of Rita's friends, people from the library, I guess. She was always trying to get me to go with her, but I couldn't see myself sitting around with a bunch of eggheads discussing poetry. That's why I dumped her. I'd rather sit back and stare at my girly magazines, if you know what I mean. Do you still think I'm the one who killed Rita? I mean, at this point, the entire town should be a suspect. I can't think of anyone else who makes a better suspect. I tell you, if I had one good, hard piece of evidence against you, I'd have you behind bars so fast your head would spin. Yeah, Mike's getting it. Anybody could have murdered Rita, Sheriff. There were no signs of a struggle, so she must have known the killer. Which, again, could be everyone from town. To alive. But even if she knew her killer, it could still be almost anybody in town. Oh god, I sound like Mikey Boy. I better go get my head checked. But it keeps adding up to you, boy. Does it, Don't though? Don't you worry, we'll get you eventually. Well, I think I'll be going now. You know, Dawson, sooner or later you're going to make a mistake. And then I'm going to lock you up for the rest of your natural life. Okay, bye. Just kidding, I'm back. Hi, Sheriff. Back again? Gotta get through the fluff to get to the good questions. You're in your office on weekends. That's right, Dawson. I'm a dedicated public servant. I'm going to stay right here until we get that murder solved. Unless there's an emergency, of course. Bam! Time to piss the sheriff off, too. Tell me, Sheriff. Why did you get kicked off the Dallas police force? Look, Dawson, I don't know who told you that crap, but I resigned. There was no room for advancement, and I was tired of the big city. I wanted to come down here, where it was nice and quiet. That and I can get away with not working at all. Do you still think I'm the one? I can't think of anyone else who makes a better suspect. It's kind of an insult having the FBI... Like I think I already said this last time, but let's try it out. Hell, I don't want him here. It was that idiot mayor's idea. It's an election year, and he's afraid the investigation might reveal some skeletons in his closet. So he's bringing in some old pals at the bureau. Well, I think thanks for I'll telling me your now. backstory, you Sheriff know, Dawson. All right, let's leave. All right, I'm back at the pool hall to antagonize Melissa now. I just noticed the picture above Melissa there. Hi, Melissa. I'm surprised Cyber Dreams didn't use another baby head or psychedelic clown picture there. Look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, there we go. I heard that Rita was seen in your husband's car shortly before her death. Why, how dare you get the hell out of here? Melissa's animation doesn't match up with how angry she is. 
Melissa, I've got to talk. Get lost, Dawson. But we used to be friends. Used to be. Right, it looks like I've exhausted that conversation Look, thread. Sorry to have bought... no. I cut out some hey, extra Jimmy. dialogue that didn't go anywhere. Like it's time to talk to Jimmy. Mike's mouth yeah. hangs open as well, he's shocked by how buff Jimmy is. Do you have any theories about who killed Rita? Huh, from what I hear, the sheriff's got you pegged for the number one suspect. How close were you to Rita before she was murdered? Look, I just need to know if I should target you what as well. What business That's is all. it of yours? I thought that since you're still friends with Melissa, maybe you kept in touch with Rita. Kept in touch more ways than one. You leave Melissa out of this, you hear? Jimmy and as for Rita, Mike. she wasn't the innocent librarian you and a lot of others thought she was. She got around. What do you mean Rita got around? Mike, come on, you know she got around by this point. Look, Dawson, stop asking questions before you get hurt. Rita was damaged goods. Only you were too stupid to notice. Maybe I should go. Yeah, get out before I throw you out. All right, I cut out some more to talk to our lead investigator. Hi, Slim. Do you have any more th I've been looking into a political connection, so I went over to the library where Rita worked, and sure enough, ah, Slim thinks the Clintons took out Rita. I mean, that may be true if she made her way to Willie. Just saying. I'm wondering if Rita knew something about the assassination and somebody wanted to shut her up for good. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, that's a very interesting theory, Slim. I'll I see Slim has a thought. picture of Uncle Sam in the background. I'm telling you, Slim is a fed. You do that, Mr. Dawson, and I'll let you know if I turn up anything. Let's see what else Slim has to say. I hate to admit it, Slim, but... I've been checking out that carnival in the park near where Rita was killed. Seems that a lot of children go in but never come out. First, we're hearing so about this, but it's still very, Rita. very stupid. I mean, she was a child once, wasn't she? Tell you what, Slim. Good idea. Hey, Slim has a yellow submarine. All right, let's leave. Thought I would see if the Cooper Maddox has anything different after time has passed. Still watering your lawn, Paul? That is what I'm programmed to do, yes. Yes, the grass is real thirsty. Can't seem to get enough water. What's up? Speaking of thirsty, I want to talk about Rita some more. I keep wandering back to Rita's old neighborhood. Mike, that is something a murderer would do. You must miss her. I wish I knew what it was like to feel. I was with her that night. I was probably the last person to see her alive. It's probably not something you want to admit to people. Is that so? You must feel terrible. Like I said before, I didn't know her too well. I can't get over we Paul Cooper's talking animation. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Well, I just stopped by to say hi. Take care. See ya. All right, Mike. Take it easy. I gotta get this lawn watered. As it is my primary function at all. One more time. Hi, Paul. No problem, Mike. Say, Paul. Well, the water bill's paid up. This is getting too weird for me. Bye -bye. It's only getting weird now, Mike, really. Hi, Paul. So no prop. I keep wondering. You must. Oh, I needed to get to this thing. Imagine who might have killed her. I hope they're talking to that hoodlum, Jimmy Gardner. I saw him loitering outside of Rita's house that night. As I was watering my lawn. Well, I just stopped by to- All right, Mike. Oh, uh, I thought there was going to be more dialogue. Oh, well. Okay, now that we learned that Jimmy was near Rita's house the night Hi, of the Jimmy. murder, let's bug him. Yeah? Well, maybe- 
What were you doing around Rita's house the night of the murder? Were you going to kill her too? I, I mean, did Who you kill her? Who told you that? That didn't answer his question at all. Why were you at Rita's house? I had some business to discuss with her, that's all. But she never showed up. I was looking for my money, is all. What business could you possibly have had with Rita in the middle of the night? Again, she owed me money. Business that has nothing to do with you, Dawson. So butt up before I bust you in the mouth. Very poor choice of words. I want you to take back what you said about Dawson. Take a hike. <laughs> Never. Listen up, Gardner. Look, will you get off my back? Look, I want to know why you were hanging around Rita's house. Get lost. Hi, Jimmy. I like yeah. Okay, I tried to see if any dialogue changed with the sheriff, but it didn't, so I cut it out. What role does this play in my future, Pandora? I see evidence that you should probably dispose of. I see a hat rack with one of its four pegs occupied. What can you tell me about this? I see a man whose final wish was not granted. I see a door that is much too far from the finish line. Okay, time to enter the Hall of Mirrors. I was honestly putting this off for as long as I could. Oh, great. I have to figure out which side of each room is a mirror and which is a passage. I hate these things. I have to agree with Mikey Boy again. I hate these too. So instead of watching me fail, I'm going to speed up the footage. There's a path here. You see, this is why I sped this up. It's really hard to tell where you're supposed to go. So you need the glass key in order to make it to the special spot in the mirror maze, the hexagon with the curtains around it. Ah, there we go. I saw a mirror similar to this a year ago. All right, time to revisit the dark world. Hold on to your butts. You know, that's probably the best sound effect they could have used for teleportation noise. Good job, Cyber Dreams. Michael, I like how Mike had to get in the proper place in order for the cutscene to start. Words uttered by absolutely no one. And here's the spirit of T Poe's past. It's coming right for us! Shoot it down! Pew, pew, pew! Who the hell are you? Mike's finally asking the right questions. I am the Keeper of the Light. At least, that is who I used to be. The Ancients have seized the Light from me. You <laughs> must retrieve it. Well, I guess you I guys weren't very good at keeping it. You suck. Before it is too late. And it is true. The ancients have returned. Yes, and they're all wearing funny hats. I wish it that isn't really important, but I all thought you should know. All the world belongs to them now, and they plan to conquer the normal world too. You are our last hope of stopping them. I don't know. I think anyone in town would be a better last hope than Mikey Boy. Even the clown with a headache. What is this generator you're talking about? 
It is the machine. <laughs> I like how she turns her head to beam, talk to Mike. The beast they intend to unleash on your world. The generator is powered by human brain cells. Oh, that's why Mike is their only hope. Just what is the light? The light is the truth. Mike, One when you see it, it will open up your eyes. As are the scrolls and the sword. See? But the ancients now possess it and perhaps the other two points as well. What are the scrolls? Normally paper with words written on them. The scrolls contain the wisdom of the dark world. They have been missing since the keeper of the scrolls was captured and imprisoned. Man, all you suck at keeping things. You had one job. What is the sword? It's a sharp pointy thing, you moron. The sword of justice is the third point of the triangle. It has the power the keeper to of the sword that lost that too. Never have been joined. What happened to you? Mike, we shot her down. Didn't you see that? The Dreketh guard disemboweled me. I then don't think you know what disemboweled to die. You must hurry, or billions will die on both sides of the portal. Is there anything I can do for you? Stop talking to me. No. I am dying. Now quickly. You must rescue the light and gather the points. Destroy the generator. You are our only hope. And she's dead. Well, this is as good a place as any to end this part. <laughs> How horrible. This must be what happens to Dark Worlders when they die. <laughs> Good job, Mike. As always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to join me for part four.